Welcome to the Artist Academy podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Earhart, and I am so excited that you're here to catch the weekly replay of my laid-back yet very inspiring conversations with other full-time professional artists. The purpose of this series is to show aspiring artists that it is completely possible to have a great career in the arts. And if you ever want to tune in and have your questions answered in real time by myself or featured guests, then just check out the schedule over at facebook.com slash groups slash Artist Academy every Tuesday to catch us on live. I'll see you there. This episode is sponsored by the Artist Academy Advanced Membership, a program for artists who want to up-level their art game by taking it from a hobby or a side hustle to a full-time six-figure art business. With weekly trainings that include step-by-step proven art business techniques, plus painting tutorials from yours truly (laughs) and other guest artists who are masters in their field, you will be well-equipped to learn and grow into the highly skilled and highly profitable artist you know you're meant to be. I've figured out what it takes to build my own six-figure art business, and now my heart is set on teaching aspiring artists like you to do the same. It's not hard, but it does require your time and dedication. So if you're up for the challenge, go to advancedmember.com. That's advancedmember.com to learn more. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Student Spotlight Series where every Monday I interview my amazing Artist Academy Advanced students to get to know them better, give them direct advice on their art business, and so I can get feedback on how to be a better teacher. This week I'm interviewing Lindsay Moore and Doran Magda as we talk all things murals, prints, and everything that comes along with being an up-and-coming artist. Lindsay is currently juggling the motherhood and full-time artist role ever so well, I might add, and she was actually in the middle of painting a mural as we were talking. I could literally see her fun kids theme mural in the background as the interview was going on, which just goes to show you how used to juggling things she is. So if you're a mom out there juggling all the things, you are not alone. It's nice to just talk face-to-face with my students every week. I do this so I can better understand them, understand where they're coming from, what they're going through, and understand how I can better serve them and teach them and make them flourish into the art world. (laughs) Anyway, let me know what you think of this first Student Spotlight interview with Lindsay Moore. So if you could just start out by giving a little introduction of anybody who's listening or watching that um, doesn't quite know who you are, and maybe just tell a little bit about how you got into the art space and why you joined the Artist Academy. (laughs) Okay, um, I'm Lindsay. I'm um, like a mixed media artist. I do like sculpted and textured artwork. Um, I live in Louisiana in the center of the state, and... um, I started art when I was little. Um, my mom asked me if I wanted to start art lessons when I was younger, and I was like, sure. And it just stuck with me. It's like the one place I felt like I fit in, or it was like my thing. So I just continued throughout school. I um, got a studio art degree in college, um, and then kind of pursued like the studio artist um, career a little bit after college, and just wasn't ready for it, I guess. And so I started teaching art, which I love. And then I had a baby. And so now I'm back to kind of playing and dabbling in this art world again and also teaching and stuff like that. Awesome. (laughs) It's so much fun. So, And I can uh, relate to that so much just because I was almost an art teacher. I almost went into teaching art. And just because, like you, I, I loved it. I love teaching. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. love just, like, taking molding little minds and making them yes. more creative. <laughs> yes. yes. I started teaching art lessons when I was 18. Um, and that was, like, my college job. And then so when I was looking for a job that I thought I'd like, I just was like, I'm going to pursue art teaching. So that's how I yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I remember being in college and studying business, actually. And they're just thinking, like, Man, my my high school or elementary art teacher just has the best job ever. I'm like, I remember it dawning on me. I'm like, 
wait, I can do that. Wait, I, I can be an art teacher. <laughs> so, but, so you, you like teaching, but you think you want to just do a little bit more um, contracted work or commercial artist work or what? Yeah. After I um, had my daughter, I just needed an outlet, just like some me time that wasn't teaching or doing art for school. And that wasn't like chasing around her, which I love her to death, but I just needed something just to kind of do for me just for a few hours or an hour at a night. So I would, after she'd go to bed, um, I kind of started around Christmas again. And so I just, I love doing it. It makes me a better mother, I think, because I can kind of you know, take like a little brain break. And um, so, yeah, I was just like, I, mean, I saw your interview with Casey Langto. Oh, yeah. And so I was, like, really curious. I started following you. And I was like, what is this? Let me check it out. So, But I really <laughs> love the community aspect of the Artist Academy and everything. So, Oh, good. Yeah, that, that was my next question. I was like, why, why did you join the Artist Academy? And what do you mm-hmm. like most about it? Because like, I feel like a lot of us, like, some people really like the community stuff. And then some people are like, no, I'm just here for the templates. <laughs> <laughs> I love the community. Being able to be like, hey, guys, in another part of the world, what are y'all doing for this? And <laughs> right? like, how are, you, how are you handling this? And stuff like that. So. Yeah, or like I'm having a really bad day. Like, is anybody else having a bad day? And everybody's like, who else is feeling overwhelmed? And everybody just raises their hand. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, I commend you being a mother and doing all of those things. I'm not yet there. And I just, I'm always looking ahead to that. I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, cause I'm, <laughs> I mean, my days are packed as it is. So I can't, I, that's amazing that you are able to do just, all of it. I just squeeze it in when I can. You know, if it gets yeah. done, it gets done. If it doesn't, Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a really good outlook of it, too, because, it, it, like, if it doesn't get done, if, if it doesn't, like, we're, you know, we're in no big hurry. You know, I think we put all these, like, crazy timelines on ourselves. Like, for me, I'm like, okay, it's got to be done today, or it's got to be done this week. And if it doesn't, I'm like, I feel like I'm so behind. And then <laughs> it's like, it's like, who put that on me? I did. Nobody else. <laughs> that all went out the window for me with motherhood. I used to be exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so um, what have you learned being in the Artist Academy, and what can I, like, what's working for you, and what can I do better, too? Um, I just have um, really enjoyed the business, I guess, aspect of the lessons and things, because I did not take any business classes in college. (laughs) I don't know why. They should be mandatory. (laughs) Yes, they should. (laughs) Um, So, and that's definitely not my world, like, I'd rather just hide behind my my paintings and stuff. Yeah. So, you know, that's been fun. And I just, like I said, I really love the community aspect of it. But okay, awesome. Yeah. awesome. And I love how um, how you respond to everything. You're really, like, involved, I guess. I don't involved. know if that's the right word. Okay. Good. But well, I've been in a, group, really a similar like group, and it's it wasn't quite like that. So I was like, well, you know, this isn't for me. But I really like how attentive you are to everybody oh, and answering questions and stuff like that. That means a lot because, like, I really try. I, like, if I don't at least comment on it, I'm at least hearting it or liking it or, like, yes. <laughs> giving yeah. feedback. But, like, yeah, good. I'm so glad that you said that, too, because sometimes I'm, like, I get so busy doing my own art projects and I'm, like, I feel like I'm neglecting them. <laughs> okay, good. Awesome. Okay, so where are you at right now in your art career and, like, what are the next couple steps for you? Or, like, how can I help you figure that out? <laughs> like, yeah, so you're working on a mural right now. Yeah, I am. Um, this is, it's in progress. It's not. It's adorable. Not, it's still in the, <laughs> the ugly stage. But um, I'm doing this mural, and then next week I'm actually doing another one and at a business in town, and um, I'm just kind of doing commissions. I've gotten a lot of commissions with quarantine, which I was super surprised about. Um, I kind of decided to start this little venture right before the, the virus hit, and uh, my coworkers were like, you should do it. You should pursue it. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm like, well, this is not going to work. I'll just have some fun. And then everybody's like, Hey, can you do this? Can you do this? I'm like, sure. So <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time. I don't really have any solid plans. I just, you know, just see where the Lord leads. And, um, I'm just having fun making stuff and, you know, I try not to make too concrete of plans considering my days are so different you know, my first priority is, you know, being a mom, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Kind of so a... you're wanting to do murals mostly? Or is that just what um, you've been asked to do? And so 
I've been mostly just doing like my textured stuff and then um it says this is actually my aunt's house and okay. and it's their little playhouse they're making for their grandkids and so and then um a local business was like hey we're looking for someone to do a mural and I've, I've d- I used to do them uh, after college uh, when I was kind of pursuing the artist thing so I was like hey I want to try that again and um uh, so I'm going to do that one but I don't know. We'll just see. Because when I start teaching again in August, I don't know if I'm going to really have time for it. But maybe something like that I do in the summers or something or on holidays or something like that. Yeah, for sure. Where did you even get the idea for your textured paintings? Because I love them, first off, especially like that crab <laughs> one that you did recently, all the blues and stuff. But like, it was like, I'm so like a flat surface paint on it. And it doesn't even occur to me half the time to, hey, maybe I can make this 3D. <laughs> like, where did you get I, that? I, um, well, in college, I was like kind of one of those that I love to break the rules. Like if there was a rule, I was going to figure out how to break it I like in the that. art world. <laughs> like I'm not like that. And as a regular person, it's just like with art. Yeah. And so, and I love c- ceramics. So like, you know how you're supposed to concentrate either painting or pottery? Well, I couldn't mm-hmm. choose. So I just did both. <laughs> and so it was like, after I started teaching, I was teaching paper mache and I was at home and I just really wanted to sculpt something and I didn't have anything to sculpt with. And, um, I was doing a painting for my mother-in-law for Christmas and I was adding some tissue paper to texturize it, uh, which I had learned from an art teacher in, in high school. And I was like, Hey, let me see if I can mold this into stuff. So I just started playing with it and, um, just really focusing on like forms and then adding the colors and I really like rustic stuff. So having the paint just kind of catch the tops of the crinkles and stuff, it's just something I I really enjoyed. And so I just kept exploring it. I actually started doing this like three or four years ago. And so, you know, I kind of put it to the side for a while after I had my little girl. And, um, and I was like, when I decided to start making again, I was like, I'm going to go back to that because that was really fun. So. <laughs> yeah, I love That's that. Like, okay, so yeah. you use tissue paper, and how do you have it hold together? I use um, Elmer's glue all, okay. and I just uh, mix it with water to kind of liquefy it a little bit, and then I just start smushing and globbing glue everywhere. It's really messy. <laughs> um, like I have glue everywhere after I'm done, but um, That's part of being an artist is being messy. Yes. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then um, I just kind of started experimenting with resin, too. Um, so, like, when I'm finished putting resin on top of it, which is kind of fun. It makes it a little bit um, stronger, too. But, I mean, it's, I was, it's super surprising how strong the tissue paper is after it has glue on it. Like, it's like a rock. Like, huh. my little girl can walk across them, and they don't <laughs> change shape at all. Luckily, <laughs> <Yeah>. yes, <laughs> we found that out accidentally, but yeah, awesome. So, are do you have your paintings hanging anywhere? Um, like in I, have, a... I have them at a local boutique in town, I have oh. some, and then um, there's a couple of shops around our state that had contacted me um, a couple months ago, and I did some things for them, but mostly I just am doing commissions right now out of my house, and people are from like I get a lot from Facebook okay so So Facebook is your number one thing right now yeah Instagram and I've I've been trying the TikTok thing it's just not my it's not my jam (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah you know and usually I tell people to like pick pick like two things and be like dangerous at them and some people just don't TikTok's another thing (laughs) Instagram and Facebook you know they link up so I can post once and exactly (laughs) Exactly. Thank so God for that. <laughs> yeah, I like. I always mean to post a LinkedIn too, but like since it doesn't like link up, I just, I just, it gets forgotten. So, <laughs> I, I don't. I used to try LinkedIn. Like I never figured it out. So it's just like, <laughs> yeah. forget you. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get like ten likes on LinkedIn, and I'm like, this isn't even working. But whatever. <laughs> I, I've gotten one job from it, so I'm like, I'm gonna keep posting there because you never know. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so do you have any questions or suggestions for me on how to, or anything? <laughs> I don't think so. I okay. mean, usually when I have a question, I just post Ask it. Perfect. On, in yeah. the group. But, exactly. Um, yeah, no, I don't know. 
Okay, perfect. I don't know. So you're mostly in it for the community, huh? You pretty much seem yeah. like you've got it figured out on the business side, really, though, right now. Oh, <laughs> because I'm you, sorry. I mean, you have commissions coming in, and that's like if uh, if an artist has commissions coming in, like you're doing something right, you know? Yeah, I feel like I'm just kind of making it up as I go. Like I finally, <laughs> I hate pricing. It's like my arch nemesis. Um, so I finally just wrote down like a standard set, like, okay, this size is going to be this much. So I could just like take all feelings out of it. Cause I'm like, if I could, I would just be like, here, everybody can have everything. <laughs> you know? But, um, but, and then now I'm trying to figure out the world of like taxes and prints and stuff and prints. This is not fun. <laughs> yeah. I really don't even know how to do prints with your textured stuff. Um, I don't either. Um, <laughs> an artist that I follow in Louisiana, she does highly textured work too. And she found um, a photographer that does art prints and he was able to capture her texture, make some really nice prints. So um, he's on my list to contact and get in touch with about that. And But, you know, I've been kind of like playing around with stickers, like designs and thinking about doing some note cards and starting there, starting small. And then we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just kind of playing around it. with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. For sure. Have you watched the uh, Print Perfect tutorial? I think I looked at it. But I don't know <laughs> okay. that I went well, through the whole thing. <laughs> definitely not mandatory. I was just gonna. I was just gonna suggest it, just because if you are about to go through the prints, it goes through shipping too, and like the whole lot of it, and like you know different places to order them, and like pricing of them, and like the whole thing, just to give you. And it's about like two hours long total, so it's like you gotta have some time. <laughs> but or or you can just skip around to like the mm-hmm. shipping is in the end or whatever. Just just in case you need help. <laughs> Just well, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to talk about. Um, let's see. Well, I that's really all I have to talk about. Okay. <laughs> it's just really nice to meet you. And, it's like, nice face to, to meet face, you, too. Yeah, have, a, have, like, a conversation and everything. We should do this again in about six months, and we can, like, check up again and see where okay. we're all at. And <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Well, I'll have fun <laughs> painting your mural, and thank you so well, much for you. taking some time out of your day to chat with me. I yeah, thank it. you, too. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> Next up is Doran. I haven't mentioned this before, but sometimes people join for the community, like Lindsay, and sometimes people join for the tutorials and templates like Doran. <laughs> he is an art student who is just taking it one step at a time, entering in the art world. We talk about how to handle negative comments on social media, and on a more positive note, we talk about our mural meetup that's coming up on July 11th. Jo- Doran is meeting us there, and I'm so excited to meet him and everyone and teach every- everybody everything I know about painting murals. Seriously, if you're a student, I highly encourage everyone within driving distance or a cheap flight away from Iowa to take advantage of this gathering and come learn the ropes and literally everything. I am just going, I'm just an open book for everybody. I'm going to be teaching everything from how to spray, how to use a professional grade sprayer, to lettering and varnishing and everything in between. If you're interested and you want to hear more and get more info, you can either post it in the Artist Academy Advanced group and just ask, or if you're not in there, just send me a direct message and I will let you know on all the details. So let's get to Doran's interview. So if you could just start out by just telling us a little bit about your art business and how you got into art and just all that fun stuff, where you're located and all that. Okay, so I'm originally from Romania, actually. So cool. Uh, I, moved, <laughs> I moved to Florida when I was 14 with my family, and now we just live in central Florida in Tampa. Oh, okay. And I pretty much loved art all my life. It's kind of on and off until, like, my senior year in high school when I was like, okay, this is what I want to do. I'm going to make a business out of it. But I ended up going to school, to um, college, as an architect major. An but architect I switched. Major. Yes. Oh, okay. But I switched to art uh, my second semester, first year. And now I finished my uh, AA in fine arts. 
Oh, fun. That's so funny because I was the same with you, not architecture, but I started in business. And then the first year, I think it was the second year, actually, I was like, nope, <laughs> art seems like way more fun. Sign me up for that. <laughs> it is. It is a lot more fun. <laughs> so where are you at in your art business right now? Tell me a little bit about what, what you're doing. What are you creating? Well, right now I'm just kind of studying books and like biographies from like famous painters from, like uh, like Rembrandt and Da Vinci and like all those, you know, famous painters and I recently launched my website. I'm doing a giveaway right now and I'm working on this new painting here and that's pretty much it for now I guess and hopefully we'll be doing the uh, mural in July with you. Yes, that would be so. awesome! <laughs> yes, I hope you definitely hope you can come. Okay, um, let's, so Florida is quite a, quite a trip. Yeah. <laughs> so are you going to fly in or are you going to do a road trip? Uh, no, I'm going to fly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it might be awesome. Okay, okay, great. Awesome. So where do you want to go from here? So you're, you know, you're studying a lot right now. You're creating some. Are you getting some commissions right now? Or are you focused on getting work? Are you just making your own? Like what's, what's going on? I want to start doing murals like around the city. Mm. I've been like around the city a lot and I don't really see a lot of murals. And like the newer places, like the older places, they have murals, but I saw some spots where they could use, you know, some artwork. I'm not taking commissions right now because I'm, I just want to like get better with my artwork, if that mm. makes any sense. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that... Okay. So um, why did you join the Artist Academy? I'm really bad at business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And... <laughs> I love that you can just admit that. <laughs> <laughs> And I saw like your post from Instagram. I've been following you on Instagram for like two or three months before I joined the Art Artist Academy, okay. and you're doing giving like really great examples and of like what to do with your art if you want to do a business. And then I saw that you have a uh, Artist Academy. I was like, oh, that could like be like a really great thing for me. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so how have you benefited from being in the Artist Academy? A lot of people, like, they come in for the community and, like, to talk to people all day in the group, and some people are like, nope, just give me the templates and give me the tutorials. Yeah, pretty much the templates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But you, you do do your fair share of posting in the group sometimes. I mean, you just did a from post. From time to time, yeah. Yeah, so, and we, we celebrated your website. And, oh, yeah, so people are starting to start, sign up for your newsletter, right? I just signed up for it. Yeah, I actually had like three people sign up today ah! I posted my website, so that's exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's so exciting. Okay, so let's just talk about that process. So you've already made it so much further than a lot of people in their art business by just you've made a website. You've done it. You're you have you've claimed your space in the art uh, the art website world. So how talk about a little bit about that? So did you so did you start it before you got in the artist academy, or did you? how what what made you think that you wanted a website which is which ever, everybody needs one by the way but what what made you think that you wanted one <laughs> well i saw that pretty much every artist has like a place to sell their art or like at least display their art yeah. and i just thought it would be like a better feature to display everything than just my instagram feed yeah exactly. maybe you know have like a contact page with uh, numbers to show and stats and you know people to actually see what they're going to get versus just a, oh, this is what I do. You could get this, you know? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And let's talk about the process. What, what, uh, did you use Shopify or Squarespace? Which one did you use? Uh, Shopify. 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 Okay. Yeah, it was a like lot that? easier. Yeah. It was so... very easy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you tried any other ones or it was Shopify your just first one that you were like, yep, I'm going to do that. I think I tried Squarespace, uh, or sorry, Square, Squarespace. Squarespace, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I didn't really like the interface, and then I moved to Shopify, and I just kind of stick with it, and now I love it. <laughs> okay, great, awesome. I'm also on Shopify for my art, so I, yeah, we could we could geek talk Shopify for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, okay. Um, yeah, I think Shopify is just so great for us, especially for selling prints whenever you're ready for that. Like, it's just, it's the the interface is so much easier. Sorry, I have a cat. I have relatable. <laughs> yeah, do my you have cat, a cat does the same thing. Oh yeah. my gosh, you have a cat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at us. We're bonding, Shopify and cats. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so where, what do you want from me? Who, what do you, what can I, how can I help you? How can I be of service to you? Just tell me. 
Uh, <laughs> maybe be a little bit more, I don't know, I don't, I don't want to say pushy, but like maybe kind of like tap people on the back a little bit more. Okay, so like, know, tell, like give... order you around a little bit more. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, because like it took that. me like, okay. <laughs> because the first month of January, I basically didn't really get anything done. Like the first month that I joined. And then afterwards, I kind of started to gradually pick up the pace and started watching your tutorials and templates and all that. Okay. That's a really good idea, actually. Maybe, okay, so maybe I could set up like an email system for people where I could, because I can tell whenever people open certain tutorials okay. and stuff or, or like when people start. Um, maybe I could set up something to where if you start a tutorial and you don't finish it, I could send you emails until you do. <laughs> yeah, something. like a reminder. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like, and it, I'll do like once a week and then if you don't finish it, I'll be like every day. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Finish Pick it. up the pace. <laughs> would that be too much, honestly? Like, would that be, I mean, that might be annoying, right? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, if people want to do something, I feel like they won't get annoyed by it. Okay. You know, if they want to get the work done, then I don't think they mind somebody else kind of helping them get Reminding the work done. Them, Perhaps, at least. Yeah. Okay. Great. And maybe I'll, I'll make the emails really humorous. So they'll be like, hey, me again. <laughs> like, <laughs> just thinking of you. Yeah. <laughs> like, just, uh, I, or maybe I could even send out emails or reminders and stuff that really just points out the benefits of finishing something. Like, fi like to finish the Print Perfect tutorial and like get prints out. I could be like, you know, you're going to make money from this if you just like spend that extra hour to finish it. <laughs> so, exactly. Okay. Right. I like that. Good, good. I'm going to write that down, too. <laughs> great, great feedback. Is there anything else, though, besides being more pushy? And I love that feedback, by the way. Thank you. Because I'm always so scared to tell people what to do, even though you're in the group, for me to tell you right. how to build, build an art business. But I'm like, I don't want to be annoying. I don't want to be pushy. But so I, I mean, you're kind of like a teacher. I mean, teachers yeah. tell people what to do. You still got these students. with a ruler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <Right. laughs> Okay. Oh, maybe I can make that into an email. Like, like do those little like asterisks. It's like ruler smack. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lots of great ideas. Okay. Um, is there anything else? Um, how do you deal with negative feedback from people? Negative feedback. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was <laughs> watching TikTok and like a lot of like artists that have a lot of followers. They also get like a lot of like negative comments. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really know how they deal with that. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I think it just comes down to being in a place where I'm very confident with my art in general. You know, like, I'm, I, I know that, like, if I paint a pink lion, that there are beautiful people who are not going to like that, especially people who, like, tend to like black and whites and not super mm -hmm. bright girly colors. And so in my head, I'm like, this isn't for everyone. And so when I put it out there, I just, I really see all of those, hun like, 100 comments that are good, and then the little comments that are bad. I really just think I'm like, well, you're not my person, first off, <laughs> and you must be really sad. Because, <laughs> <laughs> wow. especially, the, well, I'm just saying, that's, that's literally what I think. And sometimes I've commented back, and I'm like, you seem like a really sad person. <laughs> like, and I just say that, because that's, that's in great. my mind, <laughs> what it is, I know. <laughs> but um, luckily, it's few and far between. And like I was, I mentioned this to somebody last week and I was like, you know, if you're not getting copied and you're not getting hate comments, then you're just not being seen by enough people because right. if everybody loves what you're doing, that means you're so vanilla. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> which like everybody likes vanilla, but there's nothing super special about it. And so, yeah, I think like the weirder I can be, the more I expect to get a little bit of hate comments. And it, sometimes if I'm not getting hate comments, I'm like... I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> that's really what I think. <laughs> and so, but the that's, that's a really good way to look at it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and, and that's really how I think too. But I mean, I say that, but like looking at like Charlie on TikTok, you know, and do you mm -hmm. ever read through some of her comments? People are oh, yeah. just assholes, and I'm like that poor girl because I don't know that I could you know, have this mental state when I was 15 or 16 years old. Now that I'm 30, oh my gosh, like now I can because I just look mm -hmm. at these kids on TikTok and I'm like, you, <laughs> like, they don't you even know what they're saying. <laughs> they don't even know, no. <laughs> um, and they're just going through their mean girl stage is what I kind of call it too. Because <laughs> like, do you, so I don't know if you boys get this, but 
every girl and I don't care if a lot of girls won't admit this too but I will and and so every girl when they're about I don't know anywhere between like 12 or 13 or 14 or some somewhere in there you go through a mean girl stage where you're like kind of bitchy <laughs> and you're just like you're just kind of that's just the best way to put it and so when I was a little kid little girl I would be like super jealous of a girl I'd be like we're not friends anymore or like there's this and that <laughs> and then it one year it turned on me and like the girls were mean to me and I was like oh I'm never doing this again I just I, I realize how this feels <laughs> so I'm never doing that again <laughs> and so now I've been nice ever since but that's that's what I think when when students or not students when TikTokers are on there and they're so young and like I'm just like you're just going through your mean girl stage. It's just a phase. Like, yeah, it's just a phase, and you're gonna look at yourself like if your like ten year older self could see you right now, they would be disappointed in you because now that's you, a very good comment. Yeah. <laughs> Don't <tell me> for <laughs> someone. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I hope your thirty year old self looks back on your fourteen year old post and is like. <laughs> Bam! Like, like, knock that off. <laughs> or just, just embarrassment. Because, like, luckily, when we were kids, how, how, how old are you? Uh, twenty-one. Twenty. Okay, so, <laughs> well, when I was younger, <laughs> like, when I was younger, we didn't really have Facebook. We got it when I was in like a senior in high school, and I'm like, thank gosh, because I would have been just so dumb online, <laughs> you know. So, but another thing too is like, if somebody's mean to you online on TikTok, go to their profile, and I guarantee you like their profile is shit <laughs> i guarantee <laughs> you every single time nobody that's above me has ever commented something mean on my right. thing like ever and so every single time i go to their profile i'm like you have no likes you are a mean person and you're getting karma for this already so my work is done <laughs> Anyway, that was kind of a rant on that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that, was, that was good. Very good. Okay, Thank good. <laughs> yeah. What else do we want to talk about? <laughs> Is there anything uh, else you have on your mind? No, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. I'm so excited to meet you. Hopefully, you can come in July. Um, we get up there July 11th, and then we'll be there till the 18th. And I think most okay. people are coming like the 12th, 13th, 14th, like right in mm -hmm. that area. So if you could come then, that might be best. But like I said, I'm going to be up there for a whole week. So if you're like, no, I can't come until like the 15th, 16th, 17th, I'll be like, cool, so, whatever. So what city are we supposed to drop in if we're um, if you're flying, like flying there? Yeah. Yeah, so it's Sioux City, Iowa, and it's spelled like okay. S S I O U X, Sioux City, okay. Iowa, and it's about thirty minutes from Merrill, Iowa. And my husband will go pick you up, and I'll send okay. him to the airport and go get you whatever you need. <laughs> so, and awesome. he'll, yeah, and then he'll bring you to Merrill, and yeah, we'll stay there. I'm gonna get hotel rooms for everybody, and. <laughs> um, and we're just going to learn to paint murals. Like, literally everything is going to go. Like, so, that was amazing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be so fun. And, like, you guys are going to go away with it with, like, photos for your website, video for your website, and, like, just to be able to be, like, you know, I painted this. And, you know, I have you experience. Didn't... I can do this. <laughs> yes, exactly. And that's what people look for, too. They're like, okay, can you do the job that I want to hire you for? And with this, this is giving you experience. We're going to go over lettering. We're going to – I'm going to show you how to project, uh, like, how to prep a wall, how to – uh, use a professional grade sprayer so I have like a really big okay. sprayer we'll spray the side of the walls and we're gonna then we're gonna chalk it out on top of it and then we're gonna paint it and then we're gonna do a varnish top coat at the very end so it's gonna be just everything it's gonna be awesome that's great is there anything else you want from me I am all ears anytime you need anything so no, I think if I have any other questions I'll just ask in the group yeah yeah exactly yeah, it was really nice to see you and yeah, it was, really, it was really, yeah, it was really nice to see you too. And I'm so glad we got to put like a face to a Facebook like character, <laughs> you know, like I see, I see your guys' profile pictures all the time and your comments and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, these are real people in my head, but like now you're actually a real person to me, exactly. you know, <laughs> like it's just, uh, I really like doing this. So thank you for the feedback and everything. Thank you for having me. Yeah, no problem. I will talk to you later. They also, thank you so much again for the, like, I know that I, I flip-flopped our schedules and time so much, um, but I really appreciate you being really flexible with me today. Uh, really, That's okay. Yeah, that was really no problem. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, well, I will talk to you later. I'll see you in the group. See you later. Bye. Bye. This episode is sponsored by the Artist Academy Advanced Membership. 
a program for artists who want to up-level their art game by taking it from a hobby or a side hustle to a full-time six-figure art business. With weekly trainings that include step-by-step proven art business techniques, plus painting tutorials from yours truly, (laughs) and other guest artists who are masters in their field, you will be well-equipped to learn and grow into the highly skilled and highly profitable artist you know you're meant to be. I've figured out what it takes to build my own six-figure art business, and now my heart is set on teaching aspiring artists like you to do the same. It's not hard, but it does require your time and dedication. So if you're up for the challenge, go to advancedmember.com. That's advancedmember.com to learn more. If you've enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. If you review our podcast and send a screenshot of that review to me on Instagram, I am at art by Andrea Earhart. I will then promote your art on my story and tag you as a little thank you for helping me grow this podcast and our Artist Academy community. I have a reach of over 50,000 on Instagram, so this is a little help me to help you incentive. Also, if you ever want your questions answered in real time by myself or featured guests, then just hop on over to facebook.com slash groups slash Artist Academy to check out the schedule every Tuesday to catch us on live. I'll see you next week.